Literally, the doctor said to me at the clinic, she goes, that person's dick would have to be, like, covered in their own blood, yeah. and then your throat would have to be covered <laughs> in your, it, it like, be slashed open. And I looked at her, and I go, and at that point, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is bad. Some of this is bad. Some of this is bad. Some of this is bad. to drag out. Whore. No. Also, I want to bravely say that before the podcast came in, I bravely said I would marry you in a moment. In, 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 in a moment. Yeah, if, if I was gay, I'd marry you. 100%. And you are a little gay, but. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, slightly. A little. I was raised by a single mom, that's why. And that's what made you kind of gay. Yeah, 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 I grew up with, in the women's office. For sure. And yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Were, And were there dicks in the women's office? No, it was no. all just women. Just <laughs> women. I go, Tony, are you PMS? Yeah, I like grew up. Oh. So that's why I think I have. Well, what's the women's office? Well, just like she worked at a law firm, but it was just like women doing bullshit jobs. So I just oh, hang just out like with women. papers and being like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh-oh mom's at work today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd get dropped off there and be like, they'd be talking about PMSing, all this. And I'd be like, Tony, he's the worst. I'd just like yeah, gossip yeah, with yeah. the ladies. Oh, That's fine. so that funny kinda. because I, what I've heard several times is that PMSing is not real. Oh, it's real. No, they go like, you know, you would be, it's not that it's a real thing. It's just if you had fucking cramps, you'd be irritable too. Uh, no, I think emotionally they get a little... Oh yeah, woo, woo. I've been around that. Yeah, <laughs> like the just, week before is really bad, uh, or the moon, or something going on because <laughs> yeah. these bitches be crazy. Okay, these women, I don't know what's going on, but they be saying crazy shit. Yeah. Not to me, they're usually pretty good to me, but I'll watch them flip out on their boyfriend. Yeah, and you'll go like, "Whoa, that's assault." It is one of those things where it, it is okay. So I think it is real, but you're not allowed to talk about it. Well, if you bring it up, if you bring PMS up while they're PMSing, <laughs> like, big mistake. Yeah, big mistake. Yeah, they get upset. Even just period talk, like someone was just casually <laughs> telling me about their heavy flow, and I was like, yeah, just just, just, just clog Keep it, it up yourself. Clog it up, you know. You know, just wipe, wipe. Just make sure you wipe it up. And just <laughs> <laughs> bring a bucket and a mop for that blood ass pussy. Yeah, it's oh, a bad. God. Oh, I don't do that. No, you don't that's do probably the gayest pussy. thing about me. I, I really? will not have sex with period. Oh, oh, the gayest thing about me. You're like addicted to trans women. I wrote, I wrote notes. It's the gayest oh. shit I've done just yeah, to be yeah, prepared yeah. for the pod. Oh, did uh-huh. you really? I've seen the clips. Yeah. Oh, for, <laughs> I've seen the clips. I was like, yeah, uh, I came prepared. You, yeah, you, you're very specific because you're an ex addict. Ex addict, yes. Addicted we- to women and sex. Well, <laughs> no, I'm well, not I'll say this. To... I'll say this. Every time I see you, I treat Aaron Patrick as if he's my sponsor. I haven't seen him in eight months, and I've been not doing the work. <laughs> Every single time I see Aaron Patrick, I'm like, I redownloaded the app. So I, 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 I can't stop sucking cock. Like, you know I don't what know. I'm curious about? So when you were growing the hair out, right? Yeah. And it was kind of in that like awkward phase. Oh, that one were, night. We're both, were yeah. you kind of? Were you on the apps hardcore going? No. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But I do have a wig, but I um, I would never wear it. <laughs> <laughs> but you had like the crazy hair, and I pictured you were like, oh, for sure. But I think I just washed my hair that night, so it looked all crazy or whatever. That was like two weeks ago, so it's so funny I bring that up. Okay. But um, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what you were addicted to? What then? Uh, drugs. Oh, okay. drugs oh. and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. yeah what went kind to jail of drugs? For a few months. Uh, Uppers? Xanax, Coke, okay. Adderall. Uh, yeah, I do Adderall then blow, but Adderall to kind of keep me at a a nice base, you of know. Course. Yeah, and then stay up and. What were you doing while you were up? Masturbating a lot. Listening. <laughs> I was masturbating and listening to Joe Rogan at like 16 years old. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like multiple tabs, Rogan porn, Rogan oh, porn. Oh, my God. Like what, yeah. just alpha brain about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. DMT, like, oh, my God, nothing's real. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, was yeah, like, yeah. I was like a new atheist, you know what I mean? I was How like, old are you? At that time, like 16, now, how old are you now? Oh, 29. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, so that was, that was yeah, really deep on Rogan. Though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. In well, rehab, I had to go on a commitment. I think an original Rogan hat. Uh, re- <laughs> <laughs> no, in re- which was like a 12 or 11 years ago, I, uh, I had to go on a no Rogan commitment. Because I'd be listening to Rogan and coming to rehab and being like, this is all fake. Like, you guys just need to like, have discipline. <laughs> And I'm on like felony rehab, probation. rehab, the new guy at rehab talking about <laughs> discipline. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But um, yeah, I would just stay up. And You're an addict. Yeah. We, I've read you, me too, yeah. Re- oh, you're yeah. sober. Well, he's an, he's active. He's an active. I think I'm currently... Trying to quit. Uh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think the word is relapse. Oh, okay. yeah. oh you're currently in a relapse. That's yeah. fun. But yeah. it's like a six-month relapse where I was trying moderation, and then I found out more and more and more that that does not exist for me. Yeah. And I keep on being like... Because my friends will be like, it's, I don't have the problem of like hurting people while I'm using. Oh, that's good. Well, you don't. He, just, he can't see clearly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, that's for sure. And I keep on... I'm like, was that conversation weird to you? They're like, no, and I go, hmm. 
You're lying to I me. I know. Because I definitely was like, really? Like, Craig Fergola wouldn't put me on. I go, I own the fucking club. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go, I don't care what you have going on. I own the club. <laughs> you so have to funny. put me on. And he goes, I don't think so. I go, that's it. I'm getting Rebecca. Good for, good, good for Craig. Yeah. Well, I've known, for I've known, I never thought he had it in him. I've known Craig. Craig has seen me in Coke Colton, yeah. so he knows that he has to have some sort of boundaries yeah. with me. And I and he was a heroin uh, Craig for a while, so I yeah. had to set boundaries with him. So like, we're very comfortable with setting boundaries for sure. For sure, but I, I need some boundaries for myself. Yeah, to well, not do blow. You've been but, sober no, for no, a I don't while. do blow. Yeah, uh, ten years almost. Nine yeah. and a half years. I got sober at nineteen. Do you have any tips? Tips of staying sober. I don't to go to jail and ruin your life. <laughs> <laughs> Have your mom not let you like shower in the house. That's like a pretty good, you know what I mean? Oh, Be homeless. you were like a real scumbag. Yeah. Like yeah. the last day I got high, I was like in a McDonald's parking lot in like my grandma's Oldsmobile, like on the Wi-Fi because my service was cut off being like, bitch, let me get in the house. Like, <laughs> like arguing with my mom. Oh. Yeah. And just wow. like having no options. And when, when you were but in But I like that you manipulated your grandma to get her car. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, Nana but, can't say no. But that was from too much sober. I was like, I'm a good boy. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then I relapsed. with. Yeah. The, I immediately got a car and was like, I'm going to go get fucked up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I was just backed into a corner. I was living with my buddy Muffin. A bad time. Wait, that's a the guy named Muffin. Muffin bad. Not, yeah, no, not a bad good guy. T- yeah, and he, we took a bunch of like. You still out. friends with Muffin? I talk to him every now. He's got a baby. Oh, good. <laughs> he's, <laughs> out <of prison. laughs> he's, out, he's out of prison right now. <laughs> he went to prison actually for terroristic threats to his baby mama before they had a baby. So he went to prison because they were arguing. Yeah. Got out. Now they have a lovely child and. Terrorism's I'm sure not he's so bad. Not so bad. I feel like I, you don't go, "Hey, my name's Muffin" in jail. I feel like you go, "Like, hey, my name's like Rob." Um, oh, he had a tattoo. He had a muffin tattoo with like an Illuminati eye in it. He he owned it, uh-huh. but he would get tore up. In there. I mean, he was like cute. Like he was like cute. cute. Exactly. You he had cute? like Andy Milanakis energy. Like oh. he looked like a baby boy. Did he even uh, chubby? Oh. Yeah, that's what I call a muffin. Yeah. Because he was just fat. That's a muffin. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. Because that, that could have gone two ways where it is, he looks like that, yeah. or he's so hard that, that he, muffin. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They call me was. Muffin Top because I only <laughs> fucking top, bitch. I mean, he was kind of like that, to be honest. He was very aggressive. He pulled a gun <laughs> on his family. That's why I had to get sober. I was living with him. We ate a bunch of these like Altoid Xanaxes from like the dark web. Fine. Yeah, it was fun. How like, did you get they were like the kind of minty, but still tasted like Xan- Alprazolam. It was the best. Um, but the dosage wasn't really high. Equal. No, I don't know. Some because I took the same amount as him. Oh, it's like when people give you like acid and like they just did drops and you're yeah. like, well, it more got on this Altoid than the other. And For you're like, sure. That's really <laughs> For bad. For sure, what happened? Because we both took the same amount and Muffin's like, I'm gonna go shower. I was like, okay, I'll see you in a minute. And then I hear his dad go. Aaron, get the fuck out of my house. And I'm like, what? I'm like running out of the house now. Of course. It turns out he pulled a gun on his family and was asking for $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he had a higher dose. So I don't know. <laughs> so I was like, what? We're having a good time. Oh, Wait, my God. I, I didn't realize uh, Xanax. I thought you'd just be like, chill. And like, no, it depends if you like really abuse it. Uh, you don't. <laughs> you go over the chill and you're in like sociopath. You don't know what's real. Mm-hmm. You oh think you're God. sober. You think you're sober and seeing like Yeah, you're That's like, like I'm, pro- I'm not fucked up. Oh, I, like I, I bet is. his I bet his problem was you think ten thousand dollars is the problem, so I'm gonna have to escalate. Yeah, you know? ask, yeah, he's Instead like, Give of, me my and then his dad hit him in the head with a frying pan. <laughs> And then the police came. He assaulted. He like juked a police officer. I love that. And uh, the police officer like sl- it was like a movie. Like slammed into the cop car. He got assault on an officer. Oh, but then I had nowhere to live because. <laughs> How old were you? Eighteen. Yeah. Right yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> were you? In a, did you graduate high school? No. Yeah. No. GED boy. GED, yeah. yeah. So wait, your I mean, mom was a lawyer. Good dick. GED. Paralegal. Dick. Uh, she just worked for lawyers. What? GED what? I said, you know what's good, Dick? GED. It is good. GED no, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. good. You're like, I, I don't need school. 100. And who's their GED? I'm like, dick me down. <laughs> Honestly, God, I'm like, that's that you know someone's fucking if they got their GED. <laughs> yeah. I, that's a big dick. That's like when guys have their dicks are so big that you can't even have sex with them. That's pretty sick. <laughs> I, I had a friend in college that was just like... Just whoring himself out, but he would find people that didn't go to college that were like living on the street. He picked one kid up from rehab and like brought him and he lived with us. And I just remember being like, 
dude, these guys, like, we can't, you can't bring them into the house. He's like, no, no, you don't understand. Like, they're fucking so hot. <laughs> 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 That's scary. That's scary. Like yeah. the bad boys. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah. Have you guys seen Home Math on YouTube? No. Yes. He, like, yeah, he, seen, have, he yeah. like, breaks down, like, what's attractive and, like, what's not. And, like, you have to be a bad boy. Like basically saying like women are just as horny. You just need to be yeah. a, ba- a bad boy is more attractive than like a nice. You know, it's funny. Guy. That's funny. I feel like you are a nice guy, but you very nice guy. But also used to be a bad boy, or no? Man, are you, you know, I used to be a bad boy. Kid. Yeah, I used to like sell guns. I mean, I used to live like what? A, I was in jail for three months. Like you I lived sold a, guns. Yeah, I sold guns to these like Korean guys with like face tattoos. Yeah, I used to live like a what? I Where'd you get the gun, Chief Keef? Uh, <laughs> Me and Muffin would uh, like <laughs> find beans and yeah, you and Muffin just fucking the fucking boys. <laughs> <laughs> really, dude, I was like, when I bailed rehab, I was on felony probation, and if I got caught with a gun, it's like minimum five years, like so uh, yeah. automatic five years. And like I was just bailed on, I was like running away from probation, running, bailing from the rehab. And Muffin would have like a Glock with like an extended clip, and we'd just be like, "Yeah, bitch, I hate you so." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, "I'm the fucking okay. man." <laughs> well, I'll fucking go to rehab. Oh, and, that, and I was like, I would tell the rehab, like, I'd rather go to prison than be in this shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's so hot, dude. You're like, my name is Earl. You're like, you hear about this thing, karma? I yeah. just changed my whole life. <laughs> oh, oh, my about, god, about the percent, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, maybe because my life was going really bad (laughs) so was uh yeah you were doing a bunch of crimes for sure were you dating at all during that time no i could not were women talking to you yeah they would talk to me i think like i had but i just was like so fucked up yeah yeah there was no chance were you one of those like 18 year olds that looked young no i looked i've looked this old really yeah 33 yeah Yeah. literally 21 i tried to get into a bar in atlanta and this hood dude was like damn bruh slow down you're old as fuck yeah i've always looked 30 something that's crazy so i looked up but yeah i I had women uh, but i was like i'm not i mean i was like into conspiracies and (laughs) seeing shadow people i wasn't like a dateable guy really yeah (laughs) some would argue still not (laughs) (laughs) oh my yeah everyone do you talk to your mom still? Yeah. Oh, we're besties. Okay. Yeah, me my and my mom. My mom's my best friend now. Yeah. So you can give a shower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now we're cool. Now that you're not being a fucking menace. Menace. Yeah. yeah. I submitted and was like... Where does it live in your head uh, of that era? Of, uh, like, you know, I was clearly needing... Like, for me, I was a reckless, crazy person until I realized I was gay. And then I was like, oh... I'm gay. Oh, okay, and that helps. So you. is that, that your so, thing? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that. That's maybe that'll help me. I don't know what it is. I yeah. still have it in me. I'm a sick. How, yeah. Fuck. Do you? Could you see? I don't. Wanna, I guess that's. Can I see it. myself going back out? Yeah. Oh, I 100. percent Yeah. I, I like. I mean, I go to AA meetings every, every day. day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Because yeah. I just get off the rails. Yeah. I get out. Of, I'm out of my mind. Yeah. I'm I remember when I first met now. you. I was like, this guy is. Crazy. <laughs> and I saw so him on stage. He's so, have you ever seen this? Aaron Sa- if it, it's so funny, it's like literally, he doesn't come out as much as he should, but you don't. Yeah. But like, if people saw you, he would be like uh, booked on every single person's show. I do all right. It depends. Depends on my vibe, really. He, uh, why don't you go out? Can I bring up the emo girls? I go out. I go out every day now. I hang out. Okay, now you hang out. Yeah, I, I hang first out met you, for a while. Wasn't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah I, I was, was hanging out at open he was like, mics. I had AA meetings. He was like, the only thing I can do is AA. I was like, just come do stand up. Everyone wants you to do stand up. Stop going to the meetings. Um, but yeah. it's like he's. I was like, he's great. And then I'd see Egan. And I'd be like, where is he? And he'd be like, hey, yeah, in the meetings. You know, but. Uh, um, you're joking. You were, were you like, I like about him. my thick goth ex girlfriend. With yeah, her fat back. Yeah. <laughs> He's on stage being like, I like an emo girl with a fat back. Well, she was just a jacked. She had like a big back. She had lats. What do you, because you like yeah. bigger girls? No, I have no type. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I was just with a girl yesterday. She was like, do you have a type? I was like, no. I, but I do like, I, I like the thick one. Yeah, but you said that you have a hard time dating prettier girls. Having sex with them. Yeah, and dating them, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah. like, I like uggos. Yeah, yeah, you like ugly girls. Ugly girls are the best. Because, <laughs> because you have the preference or you're scared of pretty I'm girls? scared of the pretty girls. Yeah. I yeah. still have like fat kid energy, you know what I mean? Where I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. I, like I had sex with a girl yesterday who's like pretty attractive. And the whole time I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why is she doing this? <laughs> yeah. I'm very, like, very stressed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ugly. so you were fat too? Yeah. Not as <laughs> Not just like that. Not like not that. 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 But I was probably like two forty. That's okay. big though. And yeah, you, I was big. And you had um, a, a friend named Muffin. Did you have a nickname? No, I wasn't fat then though. 
Uh, when were you fat? It, it, when I got sober. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just started, like, eating McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, like, yeah. pigging out. I was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, my happiest was, like, listening to AM radio by myself in the McDonald's drive-thru. I'm just, like, munching alone. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like you were fat for that long. Like, two years. Okay. Yeah, 19 to, like, 22. It really does some damage on you. Yeah. <laughs> But also, I didn't get laid in high school, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't get Sorry, laid at all. Really? I'm, oh. and some then? Uh, some. Maybe yeah, very off. rarely. Yeah. Very rarely, but I have. Like, so when did you lose your virginity? When I was like 16, 17. Okay. But that was with like a really nasty girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> so no. it doesn't even count. She was so gross. No, it was, no, Honestly, it was, I was like. It was the grossest. What it was so, Why was it so gross? My buddy met her on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> And her name was Jules. Oh. And uh, <laughs> she had a Monroe. Yeah, but Jules with a Z. I, know, I, she hate, had a, I hate the Monroe. I know. I Disgusting. <laughs> and, Wait, uh, a dermal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, she had this. I and, know exactly what you're talking about. And I mean, who? I don't even know if she ever went to school. She might have been like a feral <laughs> child. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where she came from. Like, no one knows who Jules is. I'm still yeah. friends with her on Facebook. But um, <laughs> she, uh, we were like in my basement and she, uh, she did like some like, she was like rubbing her elbow. On my penis, and I just kissed a girl for the first time a week before. Oh, so, so I was like, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on Adderall, and uh, oh, horned up, I'm sure. Horned Do up. Do you feel horny on Adderall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it gets it's, it's like very tiny, but once I get going, not me. I get Adderall dick. It like it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, Real, oh. You really? just gotta pull pull fast, man. Oh, you can yeah. get another there. No, if you try. It can work. Yeah. But like, I just get too focused on stuff, and if I get derailed at all. Uh, like while I'm having sex, I'll have to be like, no, 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 don't think about that right now. Think about sex. <laughs> no, 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 don't look at his face. I can see that happening now. If I like was doing it, I could see myself losing it. But at, like at I'm sixteen, like, I'm like locking the door. I'm closing the blinds. I'm high on Adderall. I'm like, I'm edging for seven hours. I'm like, someone's, I'm gonna get someone over here. My mouth is like completely dry. I'm like, I want to suck some cock. <laughs> it's really <laughs> no. My mouth is it's like Adderall dry mouth, just like. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking horny. Okay, it's like I become so masculine. I become like a caged animal. But <laughs> so you're on Adderall. She's rubbing it. You're she's dick. rubbing, and I'm like, you want to go upstairs? And she's oh. like, yeah. And then I I have no sheets on my bed, and it's like one of those like blue mattresses. I don't know if you ever yeah. seen like yeah. it's like a nasty. Yeah. I'm seeing pee stains. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. There's marks everywhere, and then I like on my Xbox 360. But do I, you have regular sheets or you just I did have sheets just at the time. I think they popped dying. off. I don't know what. I didn't do my. I don't know. My mom did my laundry. Yeah. I don't know why they were off. I was single. My mom. life. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, just wait. bad. Single mom did your laundry? Oh yeah. She would do my. Well, That's crazy. She ended up getting a, a husband, so she did fine. But yeah, she would do my laundry. She babied me. But uh, yeah, I put up the Carter Four on my Xbox 360. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Plant blowing. Pilot. And I just started like <laughs> going to town. Fucking her. Fucking her. And Whoa. um, I couldn't come because the Adderall. So I just was fucking for her. And she was nasty? Hours. hours. Yeah, nasty. And my mom walked in while she was on top of me. And I was like, oh. I mean, which is, we all lived on the same floor. Like, it was crazy. Like, she was screaming. <laughs> 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 and my mom was like 10 feet away. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it was, yeah. And it wasn't just like a quick, like, You're so disrespectful. <laughs> so dis <laughs> Lil Wayne is blasting. <laughs> I'm a young money millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my friends are smoking like mid grade weed in her basement. <laughs> Unfinished basement downstairs. Your mom opens the door. Her son's fucking the ugliest girl she's ever seen. She's crying. She's like, Jesus, my son's a loser. <laughs> she's like, get downstairs now. And I was like, That's what she said? Yeah. And uh, so I go downstairs and she's like, you have to take her home. And I was like, fuck. So I got in the car and then, um, and then I was like, I'm not taking her home. I didn't finish. It doesn't count if you don't finish. You know, oh. so I brought her back and then we had sex in my unfinished basement. I like laid down like a Mexican poncho and it was like, there's like a, a lawnmower. It smelled like gasoline kind of. Oh, and then I, I, bang, I did finish. I like wiped her up with like a shop towel. <laughs> like I had like oil stains on it. And oh, I was like, here God. we go. And then we were laying there cuddling on the concrete. And my mom walked back down again. Oh, and I was like, what the fuck, Aaron? I ran. I just ran upstairs. <laughs> I just was like, like little baby Adderall penis too. Just was like, no. And my mom was like, oh, and she took her home. Oh. And had that long. Yeah. Man. I had a conversation of like, you know, my son's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to never talk to him again. Yeah, yeah, Jules, yeah. honey, like, go get a life for yourself yeah, and don't contact Aaron again, okay? He's got a, he, he's a, I, 
I grew up single mom. <laughs> also, that had to be a long drive home because she didn't go to your school, so she had to like drive yeah, out oh, of the far, district. Very far. I don't know where she. Did, Did she might have been homeless? I don't know where. I think she like, went to a <laughs> drop, drop under the bridge. She goes, don't come back to see Aaron. Yes, I have one dollar, but not two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was. Did you um, ever ask your mom about that conversation? Never. Yeah. We never. Even I, I told this on podcast, re- and I just we, never. My mom saw the clip and just was like, ha, ha, ha. My cousins were like, this is crazy. And I was like, yep. My mom, we just don't acknowledge it. Oh, yeah, we just wow. It. But yeah, that's the only real. And I had sex with like one other girl, I think. Yeah. In high school. I feel like in high school, especially, maybe a little bit in college, I was really obsessed with like having the perfect playlist on. I love that you just oh, chose yeah. an entire album. Just the my, my go-to was Birthday Sex on repeat. Oh, that's not. Oh, repeat. <laughs> that's, that's wild. Hey, it wasn't playing that many times. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if you can't come in birthday sex, that would get me yeah. in my head. And so I was birthday. like, you six, <laughs> like, oh. birthday six. <laughs> oh, I can't even remember the rest of the words. But I, I also did that one time because I was ready to come fast. It was an Indonesian prostitute. And we, I put the song on, uh, you're a jerk. You're a jerk. <laughs> I know. You're a jerk. jerk. I know. Jerk. Sure. That's and sick. so it just kind of burnt into my fucking head because it took forever to come. <laughs> yeah, so much where she was like, "It's not happening," <laughs> and I was like, "No, it's it's happening, all right." <laughs> you had a condom on. Yeah, that's why she sucked me into it. Oh, did you have a condom nice. on? No, I did not, <laughs> I'm not big on condoms. Really. Yeah, Laser just asked me for a condom last night, and I just replied, "Ha ha ha ha, I'm gay, dude." <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck would I have a condom? And you're not using condoms? No. You fucking ugly girl with no condom, huh? <laughs> yeah. Seems like a mistake. It does seem like a mistake. <laughs> but uh, but In- financially, I'm down pretty bad, so I'm, I'm banking on that. And I'm- I mean, if you pull out, I think you're pretty good. I, I actually don't know. Every time I ask someone who like has a baby mom, I'm like, well, did you cream pie her? And they're like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, that's how it happens. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know? Yeah. But fingers crossed. I don't know. I hope. You're pulling out every time? Every time. Huh. Well, my first one after my breakup, I did just leave it in for some reason. And I was like, well, you were trying to feel something. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, where do you want to come? And I was like, in you. and then I was like, oh, no, there is nothing worse than being like any type of fluid exchange where you're like in the moment. It seems so hot. And afterwards, I'm like, I don't even know you. <laughs> I'm like, you're a, literally a fucking stranger. <laughs> and you've been gooning for like six hours. Oh, before the you gooning do it. part is so sick. That's what I'm addicted to. No, not. I don't need to go to SA. I need to go to Goon gooning. Anonymous. No, I'm, addicted to gooning. I'm addicted What's to gooning. I'm addicted to gooning. It's just edging and just like fi- like hunting. It's no, like, I, <laughs> I can hunt literally for hours. we can oh, we can start a podcast called the Goon Hour. <laughs> Honest to God, it's all I do. And this is what gets me in so much trouble. It's like goon for goon. hours, and it's the hunt. <laughs> it's what I like. Yeah. Me and Aaron Patrick are in the woods, just <laughs> <laughs> that's, going. And for I'm it. catching something and then letting it go. Oh, catch and release, yeah. and I'm on to the next you thing. Catch and you go like, that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> out. You know what I mean? And then you like find yeah. little things about them. You're like, I don't like, I don't like your pubis area. Yeah. Out. You know. I mean, like, <laughs> your pubis? Yeah. 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 I, uh, I I like to be hunted, so I'll go put myself in positions where I'm he, like... He, like, stands in his window like... Oh, are you on Grinder or no? Yeah. What does your bio say? Uh, oh, you see incredible pictures. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah you what's your bio? Say? Let me see. I'll, I'll... <laughs> Not me and Aaron. Right. We're faceless. <laughs> <laughs> I knew my torso though. Yeah. From when I was like super lean last summer though, which is so kind of disrespectful. So he's not gay, but he hooks up with trans women. That's why he's on Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'll like, if you ever are gay, I'd marry you. Yeah. <laughs> Just I think we laugh. You know, you know what's funny is uh, how you look at your own profile. The the being with the trans woman and trying to be more open with it has turned me into like really like woke where I go she's a woman I get like so yeah. upset with my yeah, friends yeah. but they're like but it's a hit and I'm like shut up it's I, I think that's nice yeah hey, I do can think you just open nice. up your profile and then you're blocked on mine <laughs> that's so rude why do you block because he I don't he 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 will if he finds you <laughs> he, he will no and he will yeah he'll favor you and he then, won't know he won't know. I'm I'm sneaky with it. I know torso, so, no tattoo show, and I do the perfect. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, I'll, I'll find you, right. <laughs> and I'll favor you. You know my favorite, and I'll text you up late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you get. Yeah, because oh, yeah. I find him online, and I every comic, every comic who's on here, he has. Yeah, that's that's like the Ian most Finance shameful. I think it. even if you are openly gay, it's still shameful to be on Grinder. It, it, it's it, that's why no one wants not their me. face on there. Not you. Not You're me. fine with it. I, the only thing is like a gay bar. 
Well, you, you're smart because you're like, I'm Colton, here I am. Me and Aaron are like ships in the night. It's like, God forbid, it's not, we're not talking to each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, my biggest fear is that I'm like, actually, we both, one of us has seen the other and just still, and, and, and blocked. That's yeah, the yeah. big fear. I actually, he might be I like, I probably have, he probably has seen me. I probably sent to my face and I'm like, blocked. <laughs> Yeah, I put in my bio that only into trans women. That doesn't sorry. stop me from messing Yeah, no, it doesn't oh, stop anyone from sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to looking so for head. Yeah. Yeah. I go, I'm so sorry. For real, no disrespect. That's so funny. Know. Wait, are you, what are you looking for? Yours? I was like having you pull out your phone because I don't know how to look at my own profile. You go to the oh, side. right here. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh my God, that's so scary. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so the number one, that's his, that's his thing. Oh, that's good. But that, oh yeah. And then of course that. Yeah, of that's course. Good. Oh, and then you have the album. Oh, I got an album. You got uh, an album. Okay. Oh, whoa. Stand up comedian. Whoa, that's really crazy to put in here. <laughs> and then it says, try to respond, but have crippling ADHD and get distracted. If I don't respond, you're beautiful and thanks for being here. The hot guy <laughs> way, by the way. <laughs> and that, that's so funny. Whenever a guy, by the way, whenever I have a hot never guy, had that read when, out loud and it's a, that whenever, is disgusting. No, what just happened? Whenever a hot guy has. I cannot believe was, I wrote that. If you're, you're beautiful and thanks for being here, he is literally going to block you for being fat in two seconds. <laughs> it is over. That is so funny. And you're be- if I didn't respond to you, you're beautiful. No, you're not. <laughs> and, and, and he's not gonna let you fuck him. Okay. I I really when I wrote that. Oh I was my like, god, that is and so sweet. I can't believe I wrote that. Here's how you know you're really hot. Is the hottest guys the hot gay guy culture is to tag your Instagram at your grind like you? Yeah, and he has his that Instagram is. and his Twitter. I'm like, oh, not me. That is the that's the hot guy. Oh hot yeah. Girl I'm thing. like, if they find me on. Grinder on my Instagram, I'm like, whoa, I thought we said DL. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. It's like that on Field. I met, I met with a woman. I'm on Field she, as well. I gave her my number. So then I guess Egan told me. I was like, how the fuck did she find me on? Because I was Wade on Field, my middle name. You know, that, oh, I still I show by, a name, but I'm not like just one letter. One letter is like wait, shady. You went by you go by Wade? Wade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be calling me Wade. I, like used to, oh, I, used to go by, I used to go by Cole. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, yeah. yeah, it's a sick thing. We're yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> sick, Aaron. Yeah, it's a yeah. very sick thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, if I'm so, looking for trans, I'll just do a W. So, so that's yeah, how you'll find you find me. When did you start doing the trans woman? And have you ever hooked up oh, with a guy? Oh, I have seen you because I thought you meant the W Hotel. And I was like, you just at the W Hotel? <laughs> and I was confused w because you weren't at the W Hotel because I was at the W Hotel. Oh, you were, oh yeah. yeah. No, just W. That's Wade. But um, And Torso. You'll see a little happy trail. Um, that's the, when did I get, get into it? I, I did it when I was like 22. That was a low point, though. Yeah. I'll say that was like, <laughs> I, I went and uh, my family was actually visiting. My family's gonna see that. Like some black dude's gonna like chop <laughs> this up and be like, "What the fuck?" Some black conservative. <laughs> and my way, family's gonna see this, but um, what? What a very normal thing to do is your family is visiting you. It's like, of course, I'm gonna go act out and have sex with a trans woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have the anxiety of my mom's here. Yeah, I just moved to LA. I'd been there for like three months. I'm lost. I'm like, what did I do? Yeah. And, uh, and they, I was staying with them at the Airbnb. It was like three in the morning. I was on OK Cupid, and I found this like busty trans Filipino woman. I mean, like. <laughs> Big boobs, like she looked crazy, and I was like, yeah, "Okay, this is sick." She's like, "Come over." I was like, "Okay," and then I did think I was gonna get murdered because she was like, "Hello," and she like opens the door and she's like, "Come downstairs," and I, and then there's like <laughs> curtains blocking the, like I'm oh. like, "Where are?" Like so scary. I'm in like <laughs> like a kind of finished basement now <laughs> with a trans <laughs> Filipino woman for the first time, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" And she's six and, wait, five, and your 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 20. intention was to bust, sorry, bust up. Uh, uh, Bottom for her? No, no, no. Have sex. Oh, no, no he's I've never. A top. I've never. I, I got. I've gotten pegged before. That's on my list by of gay shit I've done. Yeah, okay. by my thick goth girlfriend uh, yeah. when I moved out here. Um, but uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I got, we'll get into. It. I, just thought, <laughs> I just thought I was like, I'm gonna get murdered and also be so vulnerable. Oh no, 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 no. Like, yeah, yeah, no. I didn't. Uh, no, I was just gonna get head. I think. And then, <laughs> but then, there she was like, my friend's here. <gasps> And I was like, in the basement? In the basement. That you have to say before. Before, you for sure. Before and, I'm like, in the basement. and I'm sitting on the couch like, okay. And then out of the shadow, like I couldn't see them. Like like they're in the shadows. And I'm like, and also they're like, she does comedy too. And I was like, oh, what oh. the fuck? But it was like improv. It wasn't like a comedian. So <laughs> was, and I was like, I won't see them around. But uh, apparently she was trans, but. 
It was just like an Asian dude with lipstick on. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it was not like he hadn't done anything to really yeah. support. It was his night transition. one. What was yeah. the friend there for? Just to watch? No, they ended up just blowing me. The trans woman just let me suck on her boobs, and I was like, uh, I was very scared. I came fast, I think, because I was so scared. I was like, oh my god. I mean, I really thought they were like old. I mean, they were like in their like 40s, maybe. And I was like, are y'all, I was like trying to stall, like, are y'all going to do stuff? And they're like, they're, they're like, we're not lesbians. And I was like, can we quit the shit? Like, this is crazy. I was so scared. I'm obsessed with you. Yeah, that was something I did not, I, I didn't enjoy that time. But that, you know, I broke the seal. I mean, once. And then, yeah. Once you do now, that, are you watching no... the porn first? There's a lot of like, online content of Christian guys who are crying, being like, I got addicted to the porn, now I'm doing it. Oh, to train. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and I'm just wondering what the pipeline there is. Oh, I think it's. It's, when it, I so I actually recently befriended this trans woman. I've never done anything with her. The one who gave me the tea on all the comics, but I've seen her messages. There's a lot of guys. <laughs> there's uh, a lot. There's an epidemic going on yeah. of guys on yeah. that you would probably never guess that are like just sending them like hey, like no profile picture, but just like oh yeah, hey, hey, hey. I mean it's crazy. So I think a lot of guys are doing it. I think oh. that that's probably how it works. Hey, for I have me. an apartment. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of guys coming over. Not any. There's a little. There's a lot less. But do now, you live alone? I have a studio apartment called the Suck Shack. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's what's fucked me up. Is I don't have a roommate to hold me accountable. I'm, I'm moving in with lesbians in two months. Okay. The, 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 the madness is ending. The madness yeah. is ending. I, I think I might need a roommate because I'm like, there's if no one's gonna judge me. If no one's here, I'm inviting <laughs> trade over to the apartment. Yeah. I'm inviting straight DL guys over to the apartment, and it's a problem. Oh, so you, oh, so there's, like, just straight up bros who are, like, don't fucking tell anyone about this. Yeah, they're not so aggressive. <laughs> oh, <though. okay. laughs> they're not, like, threatening me. They're yeah, like, yeah. hey, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. And it's I'm like, show. who would I literally tell I have a podcast? But I um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, that's what's going to kill me. But that's the, oh, a DL guy. Yeah. <laughs> And we all had to be at your funeral, and it's like a DL guy. And got everyone's him. like, "Well, what did you expect?" <laughs> 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 they would be in court playing the podcast, yeah. being like, "And so, yeah, 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 yeah." I, uh, yeah, so I got into it then at twenty-two. Didn't for a while. Stayed yeah. clean for a long time, and uh, I lived alone from the first time. And last year, I did it after my breakup. Yeah, I raw dogged one, and then got scared, of and course. got on uh, HIV medicine. <laughs> it's just really homophobic, I'm sure. But I, I was like, oh my God. Like, well, well, he's not on it. And I, I think that's not crazy. On. Well, I don't bottom. Exactly. Well, I looked at the I, statistics and I really am sitting in a good place. Yeah, yeah. I if was you sitting in a good place. I really only do, and I not to be like always about this, but like I mostly am doing jerk off and oral stuff, which okay. is like, it's very hard to get HIV from jerking off and oral. You're be, literally, the doctor said to me at the clinic, she goes, your dick, that person's dick would have to be like covered in their own blood. Yeah. And then your throat would have to be covered. <laughs> And you it, like be slashed open, and I, and and I looked at her and I go, and at that point, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it's fine. Yeah, at that point, HIV would be not the worst thing happening. One hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. tested. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. But I got on the the post, whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, because I was scared. Well, yeah, uh, and, and are you finding and you're just on Grinder finding these girls? Yeah, I found her on Grinder. Yeah, I just broke through and was like, you know what? Yeah, who are we kidding? Yeah, have you ever done anything with a regular guy? No. Good well, no, in middle school. Yeah. Yeah, in middle school, I uh, blew a dude for like a summer. and uh, For a whole wait, summer? Whoa. Aaron, and he wasn't what? old enough to count it as like molestation. You know what I mean? He was just like two years older. Like if he had like four years on me, I probably could have been like. He molested you, but yeah. yeah but it's <laughs> like, oh, we were in the same grade. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. You were sucking his dick all summer? I love how you go, I didn't do anything gay. And then you sucked the dick all summer? Like, yeah. No, yeah, like, like, <laughs> yeah, that is a, that's a, that's a big you, gap. Okay, I'll tell you how it happened. Well, you do have a single mom. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 no, it was uh, like he he really did kind of groom me. Like in yeah. fourth grade, he was like in sixth grade when I was in fourth grade, and he would invite me over and like show me porn. And yeah. in fourth grade, I was like terrified. I then I thought I was gay because he showed me like lesbiantraining.com dot com or something, and it was like <laughs> girls with like machines, and they're like, ah! and I was like, I'm never doing that. I was like, I don't want yeah. anything because I was in fourth grade. I was like, this is not. Yeah, this is bad news. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. happening to her? And then <laughs> uh, we it? kept playing, uh, we kept watching porn together and we would like jerk off or whatever, you know? Yeah. And then I think that's so normal. Yeah. Very. That's normal. I Look. feel like that is very normal. And yeah, no one talks normal. about it. And then my, I have shame about it afterwards. Because my brother do, that used to do that. Whoa. Well, just jerk off with his bros. Yeah. 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 You just, do, especially I, if you're watching porn with him. As a closeted gay man, I was like, wait. 
You're telling me all the football players watch porn together? Yeah, but are you talking about, <laughs> That's so are you gay, talking about in high school? <laughs> are you talking about in high school? Yeah. I think we're school. talking about I, younger than middle school. Yeah, I, mean, like I would fifth, think we're at my neighbor's grade. house yeah. watch and they'd be like turning on porn. Yeah. Which you're, where you're I like, was eight when that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think that part is the part that can sometimes get a little shame spirally in here when you're yeah. like, oh, I was a kid. And then you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was And the way I first blew him, though, is probably. I was trying to do a bit about it, but it's like just too weird and like kind of it's just weird. But we were literally playing Monopoly and like I went bankrupt and he was like, well, you could just blow me. And, and like oh it was like over, that was like his play. And I was like, no, nah, we can't. And he was like, it'll feel good. I'll do it to you. And then he blew me. And I was like, whoa, I was like in sixth grade. And I was like, that is awesome. And then I returned the favor. Yeah. And yeah, for like a summer. And his dad walked in, and I was like, well, <laughs> I'm never going across the street anymore. He lived right across the street. <laughs> oh, I'm never going across. And yeah. you ever saw him again? Never saw him again. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. And then. Have you seen him since? The craziest thing. So I got court ordered to rehab, which was like this weird cult thing for two years, whatever. Um, he <gasps> walks in to the rehab circle. Like, and I'm there for like a year. I've like almost got a year or so God where I'm like so getting crazy. my... God is, God is so God, crazy. God, God works in mysterious God, God, yeah. God is so crazy. It's like, not the kid I used to blow. Yeah, <laughs> fucking rehab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice. You like to work through all your issues. Yeah, I did. I, I pulled a counselor aside. I was like, oh my God. You're never going to believe this. I used to suck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, the same thing happened to me. He probably was lying. There's no way. He's like, the same thing happened to me. Yeah, he's like, I used to blow a kid and he came into the group too. And I was like, oh, it made me feel better. Oh, I thought you meant the guy that blew you. Was no, like, no, 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 no. Crazy story. No, 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 no. The counselor was like, same thing happened to me. He was like, I had done some weird stuff. Being sober, you hear people's like stories. You and you're feel like, much more comfortable telling people. Yeah. You just go, well, it happened. You to me, I swear to God, I hope you don't, I, I hope it I feel like whenever I see really? you, I'm like, immediately like, you literally become my sponsor. I'm like, I, I am here, I'm not doing the work, and I'm not in program, and I, I don't know what it is. Ever since the moment I met you, I was like, and here's the full truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you, you are like this. the least judgmental person I've met in a very long time. Where it's yeah, like, or maybe not. you are, but you're like very no. accepting of everything. No, I try to not judge. Yeah. I don't like people who like judge people's stand-up sets. I don't Wait, like what? that stuff. I know you do that nasty stuff, but I don't like. I don't like. Uh, I don't like being mean about people. Stand up. Uh, I don't. That's yeah, crazy. I just don't That's like, so not part of the conversation. I don't. Right like, now. <laughs> yeah. But no judging. I don't judge. I yeah, try yeah, to yeah. not because I'm so scared of being judged. For sure. So I go. Let's just be sweet. Yeah. But uh, everyone has their shit. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be nicer. <laughs> No, you're not. You can't help it. You can't. I, I do like that I'm on your good side, but I know you have a nasty side. No, I'm nice. Really? <laughs> I'm trying to think I mean? of who's on your on shit your bucket. I don't have anyone on my shit bucket. I, ever since not stopping drinking, I have like really, I have no hate in my heart towards anybody. Really? Now, when I was drinking, my eyes were completely black and I was levitating on the floor. <laughs> and I was like, I fucking hate everybody and you also look fat. And like, that was crazy. Yeah. But no one here knows that. Oh, but so now you're sweet. Yeah, now I'm sweet, though. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, but I have but, darkness. But yeah, I try not to judge because we all, everyone, has their shortcomings. Yeah, of we've all course. done some, some dark stuff. Yeah, well, you got pegged. Yeah, I got pegged. That yeah. was uh, that was fun, sort of. Not my thing, I don't think. So maybe not fun. Uh, it was just a lot. Who, I think the toy we used was like too big. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, like we went into the sex shop and. Uh, oh, that's kind of sweet. You did it together. Yeah, we did it together. It was like right before I moved to like on my move to Austin. And this is which girl from the emo girl? The emo girl, the thick girl. Yeah, I love her. I yeah. I messed up, Caitlin. If she ever watches this, I love you and I'll take you back in a heartbeat. But um, take, take you back. She's gonna take you back. Yeah, she'll take me back. What I loved it. Yeah, she's the best. Caitlin. Caitlin. Call him. Call me. I almost texted her when you I went back right to now. LA recently. I was like. Oh, but the me. last message was like, I love you more than anything. That's what she said to me. And I was like, OK, <laughs> never mind. Um, but yeah, she uh, you're toxic. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> we went to the sex shop and uh, a lesbian helped us pick out the toy. And I don't think that was the right move because mm. she's like, this is a good beginner. She was like, fucking, yeah, I was like <laughs> thumping this. Th I was like, beginner. I like, that thing is a monster. But oh. um, it was a cool like double sided one. Pink. Can I see this is it bigger than your own? No, no, no. But it was like, oh, that's good. But it was like. Clothes. I mean, it was like a big old. This was not. She was like, you want to know what it feels like? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll like, show you exactly what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, she was like this. Yeah, literally, the lady like thumped it on the table and was like, "This is a good beginner one." And I was like, "I don't think so." I think a plug is a beginner. A move. plug, exactly. Which I was into that. That was nice. Yeah, but having sex with a plug in that's nice. Yeah, love that. It's chill. Also, I don't have the fear of like poo coming. You know what I mean? I'm just like scared. I'm gonna like. Yeah, are you uh, washing down? The, are you cleaning it out? We'll see. The second time we did it. That was like May of last year. Now, can I, I ask you the first time you did it? What are you on your knees? 
No, 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 no. Feet up. Come feet, on. Okay. I'm a gentleman. I'm not, I'm not going like, yeah, I'm not, yeah. Doing, I'm not that ready to be vulnerable. Yeah. But um, feet up. And uh, it worked kind of. <laughs> feet up. Feet up. I, like feet up. I think feet up is actually more vulnerable I to do me. I do too. Look in their eyes. Because there's that, but I also have been like, this feels like I'm a baby, you know, oh, like yeah. wipe, wipe me. I used to no, like, I like it. He's a baby boy. I'm a like, baby boy. I'm, like, I'm a good let, boy. This, is what he's <laughs> like, yeah, this feels more like a, like a, like a, I'm a fucking lion. Oh yeah. You feel like an alpha. Yeah. I'm no, like, I, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm not worried about it, feeling like that. I'm worried about like, what's going on back there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if I can't see what's going on back there, it's like shit coming out. I don't You've know. never been able to see what's going on back no. there. <laughs> <laughs> never. I don't even want to look at it like in the mirror. I'm like, oh my oh, God. God, no. What's going on back there? you at your home? Uh, I bet it's recently, nice. recently I have been because really? everyone on my OnlyFans is like, you need to show more hole. I paid ten dollars for this. Oh my I'm like, god! I, I saw him, I'm walking around. I'm like, am I a criminal? Like, am I? Am You're I, frauding I, these people. Am I I'm not frauding sure. people? You with show a, hole? Well, I just, I just did a video where, where you can, <laughs> where you, just you can see, it? where you kind of had to see, for a little, just a little bit of time, and it's kind of far away. But uh, yeah, I also Karen. just got a waxing subscription. And uh, you bleached, and I'm bleaching. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So I'm like, I'm oh, so you're good. I'm really like taking care of it back there. I've I, got hair, and God knows what. I just don't. Because I've been married, so I don't give a fuck what he thinks. You know. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you're I, still married. He's still married, but now we're opening Open. it up. And so I feel like I want a stranger to be like, you should see his hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, I don't want. I don't want like my husband to be like, oh my my husband has the best hole. Shut up. But you should though. That, I watched a TikTok on that. You should, you know, basically saying like lie to your loved ones, yeah. like the ones you're closest to, because you'll put on a face for some stranger on Grinder. Huh? You should let your husband have a good hole, huh. but you don't. Yeah, get it. no, you don't get it. He likes it. He likes it. He likes it. Yeah, he's, he's okay. Also, the whole thing is so crazy, right? Maybe that's a, that's just an intense way to. Hey, hey where's sex? your liver? Where's your liver? It's like is it right, right, right over here? here? I think. Yeah. Is it like is it high or you is okay? it low? No, it's low. <laughs> okay, good. We're good. <laughs> Well, I'm having this. I have Aaron Patrick here doing the hole, and you're bringing up your, and you're bringing up your liver. I've been begging Aaron Patrick for hole, and, and <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm getting this crazy cramp, and I was like, "Oh my god!" It's finally consequences are catching up. No, you look no, great. You're good. Okay. This is all mental. Yeah, this, you're fine. I should have brought your husband. You got vulnerable. Rip, I'm sorry. Cracker rib. Yeah, 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 I just started yeah, feeling yeah, like whoa. you should care about your husband. You're like, ah, you're <laughs> <laughs> we're fine. We'll go back to hole talk. So you have a nice hole. Um, you know, you know what I tried to do was the. Um, He's dying. I tried to do the, uh, what's it called? Enema or something? <gasps> you tried to do an enema. Or where you like leak it out or whatever. You leak like, it? You put the turkey baster up there. Yeah. And cleanse it, it out. Didn't that work? No, what I did though, I guess you're not supposed to like let air b back into it, but like I couldn't figure out how to get the rest of the the, the juice or the sauce up there. And uh, I was like, <laughs> I thought like Capri Sun. So I filled it up with air. And then shot that up there. Oh. And I was just like, oh, no. oh, oh, like no. on the ground, I'm like, oh, it was like the most pain I've ever been in. Life is humiliating, but <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I love that they never considered that you were like, oh, maybe I just need to like bend up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like, realized that bend over, yeah, clean like, out my me, ass. Yeah, like let me like blow some air into it. Oh wow. Yeah. So then the second pegging didn't really didn't really work out. No, it's probably hard. I don't, yeah, I don't know. You never. I've received? never have it. Mm. I have vulnerability issues. Oh, yeah. Me yeah. 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 And I, also body issues. I'm like, I don't need to be laying there getting fucking slammed with my fat ass body. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the, I like the pegging though. It was fun. I would do that again. Really? With the right woman. Yeah. Yeah. Woman. It's a fun, yeah, with the right woman. Do you see yourself getting married and, and being in love? Or do you think you're going to be a sexual deviant your whole life? No. <laughs> no, no, I'm on, I'm on the path. I'm on the good Lord path again. Yeah. No, I'm on the good. I've had my fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got it down to once a week. And, and I, I need to get I need to get rid of it completely. Get rid of what? The goon. The goon I know, hunt. I the know. hunt goon. Do you have, I a, need do you have to, a goon day? Fridays, usually. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't have a show on Friday. Oh, yeah. It's goon time. Yeah. yeah I'm like, let me just. It's, it rather than facing you, you security. Don't do this, do you? No, I get. No. Yeah. Well, I mean. Mm, no, it yeah. get, it makes you crazy. Yeah, it's really bad. But it's like a drug. I think that's what it is. It's the closest thing to like getting high. Uh, it is like a high. Yeah, because you feel like fully crazy, and then when you come, wow, there's so it's much. It's like shame. uncut gym. So you're just like, <laughs> oh, you know, like, well, like, well, like this parlay. Like I've got this going. Like it is like uncut gems. Yeah. And then sometimes you'll be like on, especially on the apps, you'll start like you know on Grinder. Sometimes you're talking to like no one, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're talking to like eight people at once. Yeah. That's a high. Yeah. Where you're like in 19 different messages, like, oh, I could. 
there's a possibility where well, you're starting to do like, I got three. I yeah. got three I'm choosing from right now. And then all of a sudden it's like options time-wise just go away. Yeah. And you also get scared. So you're like, and actually, no, you can't come over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I've done that so many oh, times. It, What's your address? Oh, the, just kidding. Ad, the minute like address comes, you're like, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, no, I won't do I, it. I drive. I'll drive to the place and go, no. Oh, and then I'll really? turn around. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'll so drive funny. And I'll just go, no, I can't do this. I do that with regular girls too, though on field. Like when I was in with Phoenix, regular girls. <laughs> I know that might be disrespectful, but uh, I on, on Phoenix, I met, I had like four women give me their address, and yeah. I was just like driving around. In a Wait, circle. So- <laughs> I mean, I'm fully out of my mind, like because I got a massage that day, and I thought it was going to be like a happy ending massage, but it wasn't. My buddy got jerked off, so I don't know what the fuck my problem was. But uh, <laughs> they he, didn't. They didn't he, ask. You look the, like a cop. Yeah, I think that. My, yeah. But he has a mustache too. He looks just like. I just told myself I'm too handsome. Maybe they were like, he doesn't need this. Uh-huh. She like wrapped my dick up, whatever. But I that got me riled up, and I got on field and was like, mm-hmm. field got, is crazy, but it's a field is some of the ugliest people you'll ever see in your entire <laughs> life. I mean, honest to God, they are. Yeah, my pigs. my field bio doesn't say you're beautiful. <laughs> No, no. The people on field and the app is so bad. But then there are. I go on field because that's where men go to identify as heteroflexible, uh. and, I, and, I, and I love that term, heteroflexible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is better than bisexual. Yeah, yeah, heteroflexible is like. I'm just, like, oh, I'm just, cool. I'm just w- wondering what else is on your phone. I feel yeah, like you keep, the, on, you, you keep on, like, and by no, way, like, oh, you keep on like. Thank you so what? much. So many people come on this podcast and they go like. Did you want me to talk about something? You're like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you fucking done that's gay? <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it was just gay shit about me. And it was just like, I just, I, I got through the big ones first. I was going to ease you guys into it. Like, I'm scared of bugs. And I like the Wicked soundtrack. And then I was going to oh, well, go into. I love Wicked. I've been I just saw Wicked. Was it good? The Ariana Grande one? No, it's not out yet. Okay. Okay. Whoa. I saw the play at Moody How Center. was it? I have big problems with Wicked. Uh, like what? The first I'm so part, alphabet. the yeah. <laughs> well, the okay. So it starts off. It's about a green witch, and the play starts with like the the mom being like, "And I hate my husband, so I'm gonna go cheat on him," and she fucks this random guy, and then cut to they have a baby, and it's uh the baby's coming out, and a horse person is delivering the baby, and then the then the, the comes out green, and they're like, "Oh, disgusting, disgusting!" And the horse person is like, "What the fuck? Like, you're a horse person. <laughs> you're a fucking horse person. Why are you disgusted by a green baby? What's the fucking wrong with you?" And then she goes to school, and everyone's like, "Disgusting, you're green." And there's a rat person on stage, be like, "Yeah, <laughs> can you believe that this nasty bitch is here?" <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is even? This is not what it, world are we living in? Yeah, yeah, that is. That is. I, I've never seen the play. I just like the songs. Yeah, popular. I like that shit. That's that's, ooh, that's that the gay. only one that fucking. That is, it is gay, but I love it. I love it. Oh popular. wow. Yeah, but other than that, you should see that number because yeah. the physical humor in that song is fucking un, un, unmatched. Okay, I'll watch it. I'll watch it on YouTube. But yeah, that's the only other gay shit really. The trans stuff, but that's pretty. Yeah. Did you ever do musicals or no. plays? No, never did. Do you play sports? Nope. I played like golf. Really? But I could never make the team. My mom wouldn't let me play football. Why? That probably did something. Uh, because oh. head injuries. My mom wouldn't let me play football. That did something. That, that, now that's why another idea. one of mom's Stop banging mistakes. trans. <laughs> Well, mom, if I, was, if I was allowed to play football, I would, yeah, wouldn't fuck trans women. She, no, I did. I was arguing with her yesterday about it, actually. I was like, why didn't you let me play football? And she's like, well, you wouldn't be a comedian, probably. I was like, that would have been good. That would have been yeah. maybe the best thing that ever happened. Also, these football players are out here with their CTE tone jokes on stage, too, so it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. It would have been fine. I would have yeah. no, lived a I good think, life. Yeah. Well, but I wrestled in middle school and played golf. I rode the bench in soccer. I was like a bench warmer. I just yeah. wasn't good. Yeah. I'm not good with my hands. Honestly, sometimes. My junior year, I re- rode the bench a lot for varsity, yeah. and I loved the bench. Really? I loved being like, everyone was like, on the game, I was like, no, no, no I'm going to make it about me. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. Was, like, I'd, be fired up. I'd be standing up. Like, One time, my coach goes like, uh, all right, uh, uh, who, who am I going to put in? I go, choose me, choose me. Uh. <laughs> and he, he just looks at me and goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> I go, whatever. I was in the middle of the story anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they went, but I was in middle school. There was no stakes. There's no varsity. Yeah. Put me in the fucking soccer game. Yeah. But they wouldn't because I was that bad. Whoa. But um, yeah, you no know, plays or anything. Where is your dad? I just never loved you. 
Uh, no, he's around now. I thought, I, I, I I thought a, you were going to laugh. Take that out. He was a, <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> name. I'm not joking. No, don't take that Cut out. Leave that, that out. in. No. Uh, yeah, no Never. He, was, he was around. Wait, okay. he was around? Yeah. But you said single mother. But he every, every other weekend, Dad. Yeah. My I would go see him every other weekend. What, was he a degenerate, too? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he's had some issues, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, he had a bad gambling problem when I was, like, little. Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of like towards the end of their marriage. He was Do you like, remember like going to like the horse races and he's like, we, we got to love No, I think he kind of chilled out. But like my mom said, like when she got pregnant with me, he was like pawning the TV and being like, it's at the TV repair shop. Like he was just like, <laughs> fully, like, like losing it, like getting stuck in Vegas. Mm-hmm. He'd spend 36 hours. Yeah, he's got that's probably where I have the issues from. Yeah, is his. My mom's a great woman. Good. Well, good. God, if you're a woman, she don't yeah. drink. Really? No one drinks on my mom's side. It always happens to those women. They always have the son that's just like, they love those boys. They love those. It's yeah. like, where's our TV? It's at the TV show. Right? Like, I, she has no fucking clue. It's like, that's really, those yeah. women always yeah. find addicts. Like, such a nice woman, and she's just dating the absolute scummiest guy you've ever met. Yeah. 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 I think it's because you can lie to them. And they're, yeah, they and they're so nice that they're like, well, no one lies. Yeah. No one's yeah. that malicious that they See, would lie. That works. That's what you're going to need to find. Like well, a good, sweet man who's like an al who like got uh, okay i'm gonna do the work <laughs> <laughs> you need to find a good sweet I know, I'm a dr- are you think i'm a dry drunk yeah for yeah. sure okay yeah, for sure if you're gooning that's the dry hours yeah everybody who's gooning if you're gooning that's you're a dry drunk yeah for yeah. sure yeah yeah no it's a bad it's a bad thing but i will say i've never on the app seen more men looking for trans women ever in the t- 12 years I've been on the apps. Yeah, until it is recently, ruining the grid. Until the last two years. It is like, I swear, half the fucking apps It's ruining tr- the grid. That's what I've heard. It yeah, is. I seem to be upset about it. Well, I'm sorry. That's because why I say I'm sorry. I you only guys. get half. You know, like Well, the, you deserve something, too. I'm not going to pay for premium, and they only show you 60, and if half of them are just trans people or, or people Jesus looking. Christ, or people looking, <laughs> then it's like, well, then why did I download Grindr? I thought this was for man-on-man stuff. Oh, uh, that's I've seen some... Cis women on there. Oh, and the I go, cis what women? The fuck no, out of <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, I got what it. are they doing? They're looking, looking for, for MMF. Oh, which yeah, is disgusting. Right. Whenever I see, you don't like MMF? No, <laughs> that's disgusting. No, it's, I'm addicted to MMF. No, I'm, I'm addicted to telling people I'm bisexual and I'm looking for MMF. That's disgusting. And are you really? You're Wait, not why? into MMF? No, I'm not. I'm not into like masculinity. I Does hate that make that. sense? Yeah, for sure. Like I, I just that. did like like a like a bearded man. I'm sorry, but a bearded man is just Yeah, no, I, I go, get it. I goodness gracious. Yeah. I have enough hair on me. I need a people good, it's a sexual attraction is so funny. But um what was it? Wait, what were we just saying? MMF. MMF oh, makes you like Also, I've seen cis women on there like looking for friends. I'm yeah, like, honey. Like, Get a life. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't be yeah. looking for friends on Grinder. These these gay guys will fuck your boyfriend. You pay for premium when you're gooning. No, I would never pay for really? premium. I would never give them the money. See, if I'm gooning, I go. It's once a week. I also know how I'll to treat th- myself. You Let pay, pay for Grinder. Well, I do it like once every like two weeks. I'll binge, and then I go enough. Well, you pay for the month. Yeah, you don't pay you? for a month. So no, you pay for a week. How much is a week? Twenty three ninety nine. What? Yeah, but then I get no ads. I can move fast. I mean, I'm <laughs> come on. I pay for YouTube Premium. I'm a premium guy. You know what I mean? I like I've, never, have, uh, I've never met. I do. I do the crazy thing on Grinder where you can like set the age between three years. Yeah. So I like start 26 to 29, and then I just like pop up, pop up all because then you get more in the radius oh, of all of them. Okay, that's uh, yeah. So hacks. 26 to 29 is my least favorite. Then 30 to 33, I I have no luck between 30 and 33. Now 34 to 37. We're getting somewhere good. My favorite age is 38 to 41. That's wild. I get so upset when I see that on the train. People 40 and older. I go, come on. Oh, I, go, I know. I sent a picture of the piece. I go, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it. Let's break the rules a little bit. Oh, my God. I look kind of so, old. Yeah, that's just, so funny. Yeah, yeah 30 so. and above. You're like, oh, I'm 29. Yeah. So I'm, <laughs> come I'm, on. I'm, right. Let's chill. So, but then they'll have that on their profile, and they'll hit me up, and I go, Okay, or did you not read, or am I the exception? I know. Yeah. Well, yeah, happening. Colton, you're the exception. Yeah. Well, put it in. <laughs> um, we only have two segments. Yeah. Oh, Our okay. first segment is... Wait, you, is this a scar? This? Yeah. I got in a bad car wreck. Oh, okay. I got like a plate in my arm. Whoa. It's how I moved to LA. I got a big bag for it. Oh, nice. Yeah. How much? 109 grand. Whoa. I blew through all of it. Yeah. Did you pay taxes on that? No. Oh, I need to get hurt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you don't um, pay any taxes on it. 
She would like she just like you run out and just like get hit in the chest. You're like, I guess I need to go. I know. I sure. blew it all. Every last do- I have forty dollars in my savings account right now. I blew it. But I moved to LA and I didn't work and I just did stand up and shit. So it worked out fine. Yeah, I'm addicted to you. But so yeah. I think, um, <laughs> we have one. We have two okay, segments. Two Our segments first today. segment is: Do, do you, you have, have any questions, questions for us? Oh, yeah, I do have some questions. Okay, okay we're talking about the grit. You're on grinder right now. Right now, right now, right yeah. now. Okay, you're. Are you on the apps? I can pull it out. You are on the app still. Yeah, I relapse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a bottom. You're a top. Yeah. I saw recently I'm though you're, really you're, you're 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 over the bottoming though. I think so. You're I think I think it's because I'm now thinking about fucking strangers, and I'm like, I'd much rather just like top them. Yeah. You don't want a stranger. Is it harder them. to get topped or bottomed? Harder to get top because you know bottom. these trans women get really <laughs> upset at the guy. I guess there's a lot of dudes wanting to get bottomed by trans women. Oh, we and that's hate. like the prize. I guess that's like they we, like hate that. We so do we. And, oh, and <laughs> I, I no. I really I don't like thinking about it. it I definitely don't like thinking so about it. Bad when it's like not to sound rude and everybody's allowed to like whatever they like. But yeah. it's like for the fantasy of what we're all trying to do here. It's like obviously we all want the masculine guy to just be masculine, but when they want to get fucked and they want to suck, you're kind of like. We are the fucked and the sucked. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, that's so just that's what it what, is. Yeah. And so it's annoying. I'm sure these women want to get fucked by these masculine yeah. men. And then these guys are like, I want to get plowed out. And it's like, well. <laughs> yeah. They get so upset by I that. think yeah. that that would have to be pretty difficult to be like, I don't know, obviously, but I feel like they're like, there's the narrative that I've heard is like, they, they don't even want their own dick. And then yeah. there's a guy being like, use the thing that you're insecure about to fuck me. And I feel like that has to be like, no. And it seems like a lot of the guys who are really attracted to trans women don't want them post op. So they're no, like, that's they, what I didn't so, know that either oh, until they, she showed me like guys asking like pre or post op. Yeah. And they're they, like, oh no, they want the dick. Because if they wanted a pussy, they would just go get s- have sex with a woman. Yeah, they would just yeah. have sex with a cis woman. Huh. They, it is kind of gross post op. If you've seen one, I have not. It's kind of. You're like, what's that? My thing is, if I wanted that, I wouldn't do it because yeah. I'd wait 10 years because you're going to, like, technologies, I would uh, get that AI pussy. You oh, know? that pu- that pussy is going to be homegrown. Near a Lincoln yeah, there. Yeah, they're going to have that, yeah. that chicken that grows. They're going to use that chicken to make it soft. Like, that's what it's you want. Be a good Life pussy. is so hard for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It I'm is. like, God, nothing, nothing's ever good enough. No. Um, for men. <laughs> um, for fucking men. You're never thin enough. Your pussy never looks real enough, okay? I fucking hate these places. <laughs> You never look good enough, okay? I mean, all I'm striving to be is on Instagram, one of those guys who have abs with um, loose skin. Yeah. Oh, abs, abs, you like that? No, but that's my only that's option. That's what you're be. <laughs> but our last segment okay. yep, is if you were a gay man. Would you uh, rather have sex with me or Colton? And um, I saw this segment. Yeah, it, we do it every show. This is the whole show it's about. Uh, Colton only bottoms, I only top. We both I'd have to do oral. Colton then. Yeah, I love I'm that. sorry. No, we I'd rather that. hang out with you, Dylan. I'm respectfully so Colton. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. But like, but so we all know what Colton looks like. I, we all, I get it. No, Colton, you're gorgeous. Go- Colton's no, gorgeous. I, no, I picked that part. I understand what's happening. I love hanging out with you. I love hanging out with you. I love hanging out with you too, Colton. I just don't know you well enough yet, but I'm sure I would love hanging out with you, Colton. No, it's already so far. The answer is already done, and you actually gave more than anyone asked for, so. <laughs> I just and get excited here are my to see. reasons why. I like, don't think I like to hang. I mean, out like with. you are my sponsor. Yeah, I'm, I'm your sponsor. Exactly. I could never have sex with Dylan, but yeah. um, it's, it's but, a power imbalance. Hey, yeah. I need a sponsor. You know, I'll sponsor you too. I'll well, sponsor I'm gonna get ripped. He's gonna change his answer. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so those are the only two segments you guys have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, damn, I really disclosed too much shit. Then I, did, I thought you guys were gonna. Well, we've been, we've been doing it for over an hour. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so. we great, great job. Thank okay, you for coming so. on. Do you want everyone to follow you? Show all the trans yeah. women. <laughs> follow Aaron at what? Aaron W. Patrick. Aaron W. Patrick. Yeah, follow me. Dylan P. Carlino. And Colin Dowling. Jimmy Clifford. And, and you know what? I guess what? We got to probably mention the Patreon where we actually do say kind of too much. Yeah, that guys. Is something. We have been doing our Patreon episodes. I just, we are revealing a lot more. <laughs> and if you want to. And it might info, be too much. And, and if you much. guys can't keep a secret, Please don't subscribe. By yeah. the time this drops, uh, the Patreon will be live every single Friday. And, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to have to plug it in on every single episode anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, go to the Patreon. Uh, sign up. There are tiers for everybody. Um, but only if you're a true fan. Don't hate watch. But um, <laughs> 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 and we love you so much, bad boys. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.